Hi everyone, my name is Alina and today I will continue the topic which you like very much because it's got a lot of use and today I'm gonna talk about some secrets, life hack that models apply in their daily lives and works. And most importantly, I will tell you the secret that you also can apply. Models are people like you and me so we can learn from them and learn from their experience. And by the way, I hope everyone noticed that I today have my favorite co-host, don't forget to give him a thumbs up. And of course, if you still haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure to do it. I also have Instagram and I recommend it to subscribe it too, because I like updated. Okay, let's move on to the main models, life hacks. I think for anybody it won't be discovered that in the model business there is such a thing as a casting and in 99% of cases models should go to the casting without makeup. This rule exists to ensure that the potential customer be able to evaluate models appearance and its natural form without any tuning and cosmetics like contouring, for example. It is necessary for him to understand whether such model suits him or not. And I think for any of you it won't be discovered that not all models Models come absolutely without makeup? No, they have their own tricks and now I will tell you about them. Of course, if the model will use some foundation, it will be immediately noticeable, no matter how slightly it was. And that's why many of models use just a concealer if they don't have any serious skin problems such as dark circles under the eyes. If the concealer is correctly matched to the skin tone, it isn't noticeable on the face and look like if you're just fresh and rested. And you have the smooth face tone. But if only concealer is not enough and you need some additional covering due to not smooth face color, which may be by a lot of reasons, then many of models use a life hack about which I told you in my of my previous videos. They just mix concealer which perfectly fits tone with a moisturizer. Simply put, they just make specific moisturizer and put it on the face with a very thin layer. It looks like nothing has changed, but in fact face tone becomes smoother and when she will be showed by Polaroid, the difference will be significant. The face will look fresh and sleek. Also not all of models have the natural and bright pigment of lip. Permanent makeup are prohibited in the business and lot of models apply the next trick. They take a lipstick which is a bit darker than their natural lips color and put it on the finger and spread over the lips. Simply creating the effect of tint without leaving clear boundaries. It looks like they have bright plump lips that adorn them. And of course, when they say that you need to come to the casting without makeup, almost all models use blush because it's the first tool that can refresh your appearance and with proper application it will be completely invisible on your skin. But at the same time you will look better. So if you read somewhere or hear that the models go to the casting always without makeup, it's a little bit exaggerated. In addition, I recommend to all girls to apply the rule, which is used by Gigi Hadid, for example, when she needs to get her face to look more fresh. If you look at her photos, it almost always looks fresh and rested. I don't know how she does it, but I heard one advice of her. She mentioned in the interview that the things she doesn't just use bronzer. Yeah, bronzer is one of her favorite means because she always looks tanned, but not too much at the same time. She always used bronzer, which company the properties of highlighter, the so-called bronzing highlighter. It can be bought in a drugstore, I personally found it in a Turkish brand, it wasn't expensive and now I'm happy to use it. All in all, if you don't want to buy a separate cosmetic product, then you can use a bronzer. At the same place to which you have applied bronzer, you should apply dry highlighter. Yes, it seems that it doesn't completely with makeup rules, highlighter has distinct areas of application, but believe me, it will immediately transform your face and make it fresh. Everyone will ask you, where have you been on vacation? I have personally checked it out, I often use this trick. Thanks to Gigi Hadid's makeup artist for suggesting this trick. Now the 21st century and many girls no longer use the razor and use alternative methods of hair removal instead, such as sugaring, wax or laser hair removal, but believe me, many models still use a razor and even in the meta they have their own life hack. As I already said in one of my videos, if we look at photo shooting of model shows, models they have incredibly smooth and shiny legs. In order to achieve this effect, they shave their legs twice. It's true. 
The most important point is that they don't just shave their legs twice, they also scrub the legs skin twice. First, you need to scrub the legs either with the dry brush or without, then shave them, then scrub them again and shave. No matter how weird it sounds, it takes only 1-2 additional minutes, but it gives you a stunning result. If you never tried it, you should. It's bright and amazing smoother than lasted long time. I have already mentioned the brush for dry message. This brush is used by many models, Miranda Kerr, for example. In one of their interviews, she said that this is must-have for her, and I agree with that. I like to message my body in the morning or in the evening with a dry message brush, no matter what brand it is. The main thing is to use it regularly, and at any time of the year, your skin will look well-groomed, exfoliated, and smooth. By the way, this massage with a dry brush helps to recreate in the morning better than a cup of coffee. In this matter, I also have a life hack for you, which is based on my personal experience. If you are not sure whether to buy a similar brush or not, wherever you will use it, you can use an ordinary brush for clothes, you can try to do a dry message with it in order to understand whether it suits you or not. Besides, many models use baby wipes during trips and flight and between photo shooting. For some reason, in the modeling business, there is a myth that these products are made for babies are better than those that are made for ordinary consumers. I think even Victoria Beckham thinks so. I read in one of her interviews that she always wipes off makeup with the baby wipes. In my opinion, this is too radical. But when you are during the trip, you can wash or freshen up with such wipes. It cleanses your skin well without drying it. In fact, all products for babies are hypoallergenic and therefore will not cause irritation or allergy and they are suitable for any skin type. I also often heard the advice that it's necessary to wipe your face with an ice cube. Never do that. You don't know how your skin will react. What will be the consequence? This method is too radical. In order to refresh your face, you can use life hack, which is used by many supermodels. They wash with a cold wet towel. This is done very simply. In the evening, you put a small towel for the face in a container, power water, and put in the refrigerator, not in the freezer. In the morning, take out this towel, put it on the face for a minute, and the effect will be much better than ice cube without any negative consequences. Continuing the theme of washing, I think many of you have heard that models wash with the expensive water like Avian. It doesn't make any sense. It's much easier to wash your face with ordinary water, but the last water that will touch your face should be clean and drinkable. This will save your budget, but will have a positive impact on the skin. If you're traveling or on a plane, you can replace the facial tonic with mineral water. In addition, if the model knows that she is prone to swelling, then before an important photo shooting or showing, she begins to actively drink herbal teas in order to get rid of excess water. At the same time, the most important feature is in that she drinks a lot of tea for 2-3 days, but in the day of the show, she minimizes the consumption of liquid as much as possible, so she looks a lot drier, which is exactly what she wants to achieve. Don't do it often, but before a very important event. If you want your dress to fit perfectly, you can apply this method. Be sure to consult with your doctor before doing this, because not all herbs are equally useful. You need to select what is right for you. I personally prefer to drink chamomile tea. For me, this is the most effective mean to dry and remove excess water. However, every person decides what suits him. Another super important life hack, which is that don't skimp on the hair dye. If you dye your hair, it should be the most suitable for you. Perhaps it sounds corny, but believe me, most actresses or models look better than they age, look rested and fresh just because they colors perfectly match their hair dye. The quality of your hair not the most important thing, believe me. Most models have badly in the match hair, but the well-chosen shade makes you think that they have amazing hair. Look at photos of models, 
find the one with which you have the similar type of appearance and just take a standard hair wig, bring it to your hairdresser, I'm sure you'll notice how your appearance will change. From different makeup artists, I have heard the information that to make you look more fresh, use a white pencil on the macros part of the eyes, it will increase and refresh them. Nonsense, never do that, it will be much better if you use a light pink pencil that is slightly lighter than the macros part of the eyes. This life hack is often used by models after parties, before shooting or shows, because it's one of the best fast-paced tools to transform of your look. Light pink pencil for the macros part of the eyes is one of those tools that should be in the cosmetic bag of every girl. So these were the basic tips, life hack, which I wanted to tell you today. If you want to continue, be sure to write about it in the comments and don't forget to give a thumbs up to this video so I will see your positive reaction. But if you don't like this video, don't be lazy to give it a dislike because I always take into account your opinion and it is very important to me. Don't forget to subscribe to my Instagram, I often update it. I always try to be in touch with you and post my life moments and experience to stories or just share something with you. I will be very glad if you subscribe to my channel and click on the bell in order to not to miss my next video. I'm Alina and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!